Welcome back to Thunkable. Ready to build your fifth intermediate app? If you're not ready, here's a short video pranking Albert with a fake tap. In this tutorial, we will be building a mini golf game app where you will be hitting golf balls into LeBron James's mouth. Wait one second. I'm, I'm getting a call. Hello? Yes, I'm making the app tutorial right now. Wait, we can't use LeBron James for this app? Why not? I love LeBron. What do you mean LeBron might sue us? Okay, okay, okay. I, I won't use LeBron James for this app. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, where were we? Uh, let's call this app Intermediate App 5. Intermediate App 5. LeBron James Mini Golf. <laughs> LeBron James Mini Golf. Great. Uh, let's get started. So first we see this screen one component and uh, we want this to be the name of our app. So let's scroll down over here on the right hand side and let's change this to LeBron Mini Golf. LeBron Mini Golf. Great. And uh, let's start by going into the drawing and animation section for components. And uh, let's select a canvas component over here and drop it into the app builder. Uh, next, uh, let's make the height and width of the canvas both fill parent. So now the canvas is the same size as the screen. Great. And uh, we need to upload an image for this. Uh, this is going to be the putting green. Uh, in this case, we will be uploading an image of LeBron James as a golf course. Ah, great. And you can download this image if you go to the YouTube description for this video. Great. Uh, next, let's drag a ball component and drop it into the app builder. Uh, this ball is going to be the hole. Uh, so let's change the ball's name to hole over here. Let's see. Uh, hole. Great. And uh, let's make the radius of the hole 15. So now it's a little larger. Great. And uh, we can also change the hole's Z dimension, that's over here, to 2. Uh, what's a Z dimension? Just wait for like um, 30 seconds. I'll, I'll explain it in 30 seconds. Uh, let's put the hole right over LeBron's mouth. Uh, and you can do this by clicking uh, the ball's X and Y coordinates over here, and we can change them. And, uh, you know, let's also live test this app so we can see in real time where everything lines up. So all phones are oriented differently. Uh, so sometimes your design on the computer doesn't match the design on the phone. So let's just live test this and uh, let's check it out. Uh, so I did this already. Uh, so I know that to get the ball over LeBron's mouth, X must be 130, so 130, and Y must be 100. 100. So you can see that uh, this is how it's lined up on the phone and that looks different on the screen. Uh, now that we have LeBron's mouth hole, uh, let's drag another ball component onto the screen. Uh, and let's name this ball golf ball. Golf ball. Great. And uh, make the radius 10. So now it's a little larger. And uh, let's change the ball's color to purple. Great. And let's also change the ball's Z dimension to 1. Great. Uh, so what is the Z dimension? Well, when you have multiple objects together, the object that has the higher Z dimension will appear on top. Uh, so the golf ball's Z dimension is 1, and the hole's Z dimension is 2. So when we hit the ball into the hole, the hole will be on top, and it will look like the ball is going into LeBron's mouth. Uh, let's also drag an image sprite onto the screen. And uh, we are going to turn this image sprite into an obstacle. Uh, so this is going to make the game a little harder. And if the ball hits the obstacle, it will bounce away. And again, uh, we will need to move this image sprite around. And uh, now because I've already done this, I know that the sprite's position should be x equals 95. Here. And then y should be 200. Brilliant work. Uh, now click image sprite over here. And uh, we are going to upload a picture. Now, 
What should be trying to prevent you from hitting a ball into LeBron's mouth? The answer is, obviously, a bowl of cereal. So let's set the cereal's height uh, to 100 pixels and the cereal's width to 100 pixels over here. Great, uh, so now we have the bowl of cereal and uh, on our screen, it looks a little bit off, uh, but on the phone, as you can tell, it's right in front of LeBron's mouth. And uh, let's change the image sprite's name to, over here, we can change it to bowl of cereal, bowl of cereal. Great. And uh, we also need a clock component. So go into the sensor uh, area that's over here, uh, and we need sensor components. And we're going to drag and drop a clock into the screen. And we need to make a quick change. So this clock is currently set to count every 1000 milliseconds, uh, which basically means that every one one thousandth of a second, the clock is firing, it's going. Uh, so let's make the time interval 100. And that can be done over Mia. So let's type in 100. Uh, so now only every one one hundredth of a second is the clock going to fire. And uh, this is going to come in handy later when we need to slow the ball down. And uh, finally, let's add a second screen. And we know how to do that from our other video. Um, we do this because when we get the ball into LeBron's mouth, we want it to go to the next level. And you can add as many levels, as many screens as you want. Uh, but for this tutorial, we are just going to have two screens. And uh, let's drag a button onto screen two. Ah, yes, good old button. And let's change the name to restart button. That's uh, over here, there's a restart button. And uh, let's change the button's text. So scroll down over here. And uh, we are going to change the text to say restart, restart. Brilliant work. Uh, let's go back to screen one. And now it's time to block it out. The first thing that we want to do is enable the golf ball's movement. So uh, let's go into the block options for golf ball. And because we will be flinging the ball on the screen, we want the block that says when golf ball flung do. Uh, now, if you remember back to the last tutorial series, we were also flinging balls, uh, just not into anyone's mouth. All right, uh, the two things we need for the ball to move are speed and heading. And again, heading just means direction. So let's type in set golf ball heading and uh, the block appears and go ahead and thunk that right in. And now let's just copy and paste this block and uh, then we can change heading to speed uh, and thunk it in right under there. Hmm, great. And where do we get the ball's heading? Uh, that can be found with this block right over here. So go ahead and thunk that in. Uh, so we will need to speed up the ball's speed or else it will be really slow, uh, like when Wei pours milk. Come on, hurry up. So we're going to multiply the ball's speed. And to do this, uh, let's go into the block options for math over here and we're going to pull out a multiplier block. Let's see, multiplier block, and like that right in. Very good. Uh, next, we need to get the ball's speed, which is right over here, and thunk that right in. And uh, let's go get a blank number block um, in the math section, that's over, over here, and uh, because we need to multiply the ball's speed. So we thunk that right in over here, and let's multiply the ball's speed by four. Great. Uh, so now the ball will be a little faster. Uh, but now we have a problem. Uh, when we fling the ball, it will never slow down. It will just move at the same speed forever. And that looks like this. This is where the timer comes in. Uh, let's go to the block options for clock and drag and drop a when clock one dot timer do block into the blocks editor. And remember, the clock is measuring time. And what we want it to say is that as time goes on, make the ball go slower and slow down. Uh, that way it will be more realistic. So let's grab an if-then block from the control section over here and uh, go ahead and thunk that right in. So let's say if the ball's speed is greater than, you know, 
a certain number, we want the ball to slow down. Uh, so go into the math blocks and let's pull out an equal sign block. Let's over here and thunk that in. And uh, next we are talking about the ball speed. Uh, so let's type in golf ball speed on our keyboard. There it is and thunk that right in. And uh, next let's go grab a blank number block from the math section. And uh, let's thunk that right into the other opening. Hmm, good form. Yes, yes. Uh, so what should this number be? Uh, let's just say 0.8. And uh, we can also change the equal block. And if you click Mia, uh, you can change the block to show the greater than sign. Terrific. Uh, that's exactly what we want. So if the ball speed is greater than 0.8, then let's make it slow down. So we can just type in set golf ball speed to, and uh, this block comes up, and we just thunk it right into the block over here. And how do we make something slow down? Well, we want to subtract a small amount from the ball's speed. So let's go get a subtraction block uh, from the math section over here. And yes, go ahead and thunk that right in. So we want to take away from the golf ball speed. So let's type in golf ball speed. Great, and thunk this block into the opening. And next we can just copy and paste a number block and go ahead and thunk that right in. And let's change the number to one. So this says, if the ball speed is greater than 0.8, then subtract one from the ball speed, and this will make the ball slow down. Uh, so now we have the slow down. What about the stop? Uh, let's say that if the ball speed is less than 0.8, we want it to eventually stop. Uh, so let's add in an else block. Uh, that just means otherwise. So we can click here, else, great. Right. Uh, for else, Let's say set the golf ball speed to zero. Uh, so we can just type in set golf ball speed, set golf ball speed, and thunk in that block over here, and just copy and paste another number block, and then change the number to zero. Great. Uh, so this is all set up. Uh, now we also want the ball to bounce off the edges of the screen. So go into the block options for the golf ball and select uh, when golf ball dot edged reach. Great, uh, we've seen this block before in the other tutorial series. Um, so let's have it call the golf ball and tell it to bounce. Uh, so let's go into the options for golf ball one more time and uh, let's get the call golf ball dot bounce edge block. Have you found it? Uh, call golf ball dot bounce edge. Here we go. And we can just thunk this right in and where do we get the edge? Uh, very simple, it's just right over here. So just click this and thunk it right into the opening. Terrific, great. Uh, we also need to tell the ball when it hits the bowl of cereal, it should bounce in the opposite direction. Uh, so let's go into the block options for bowl of cereal. And uh, we're going to pull out a when bowl of cereal dot collided with block. Uh, go ahead and put that in. So when the bowl of cereal collides with the ball, we need the ball to go in the opposite direction. And we know that another word for direction is heading. So let's type in set golf ball heading to and take this block and thunk it in. And uh, we want the opposite direction to happen. So let's grab a subtraction block from the math section. Go ahead and thunk that in. And let's just copy and paste a zero uh, block and we can thunk that into the first opening and what are we going to subtract? Well, if you have zero minus something, it's going to be the opposite. Uh, so let's subtract the golf ball's heading because we want the golf ball when it hits the bowl of cereal to go in the opposite direction. Uh, so let's type in golf ball heading, golf ball heading and thunk that in. Great. Uh, so now when the bowl of cereal collides with the ball, we're going to set the ball's direction, its heading, into the opposite. So now it will bounce away. Terrific work! Uh, we also need to tell the golf ball what to do when it collides with the hole, which is LeBron's mouth. And this is a similar combination. Uh, let's type in when golf ball collided with. Golf ball. Great! And uh, now we need an if and then block. So go ahead and type in if, there we go. 
See, typing is, is much faster. Uh, you're getting all the skills. Uh, so basically, we want to say, if the golf ball collides with something, and that something is the hole, LeBron's mouth, let's set the ball's speed to zero, because if the ball goes into the hole, it's going to stop. So first, let's go into the block options for the math section, and we are going to pull out an equal block. So go ahead and thunk that into the opening for the if section. Great thunk. And the way to organize this block is really easy. So do you see this other sign? Well, other can be anything. So we can say that other, move this over here, equals, and then we can just type in whole and thunk that in. So now this combination says, if the golf ball collides with the hole. And uh, now we want to tell it to set the golf ball speed to zero. So let's just uh, copy and paste a few of these blocks over here to make this a little easier because we've already done this. Fantastic. Uh, and we also want the golf ball to really look like it's going into the hole, not just touching it. Uh, so when the ball collides with the hole, let's set the ball's location to equal the hole's location. So that way they're right at the same spot. And it's going to look like the ball is going into LeBron's mouth. Uh, this is really easy to set up. Let's just copy two of these set golf ball dot speed two blocks, copy and paste, and thunk them right in. And uh, we know that one way to determine location is with x and y coordinates. So let's change one of these to x, so drop down, x, and uh, the other one to y, drop down, give to y. And uh, we can delete these zeros over here. Delete, 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 delete. Mm. And now we just need to set the golf balls x and y to the holes x and y. This is really easy to do. Uh, type in hole dot x, hole dot x, and thunk this into the x part. And next, type in hole dot y, and thunk this block into the y part. Great work. Uh, we're almost done. When we get the ball in LeBron's mouth, we want the app to go to another level, uh, which means opening up another screen. So in the control section, let's select open another screen, screen name, that block over here, and thunk that right in, and then uh, type in text, text, and thunk that text block in, and let's type in screen two, screen two. And remember, this has to be the exact casing and spacing of the name of the screen. So let's just double check. This says screen two, this says screen two. Great. Uh, so now when the ball goes into LeBron's mouth, it will open up the next level. Fantastic work. There's one more step. Uh, we need to do the restart button. So let's go to screen two. And if you remember from our last tutorial, we had a reset button combination in the backpack. Uh, so let's get it out. Great. Um, so this is absolutely what we need. When we hit the reset button, it will take us to screen one. Wow, that was a lot of thunking, but we're finally finished and we can play our first round of golf. So now that you know how to build your own golf game, you can add as many levels as you want. Uh, in our next tutorial, we are going to create an app where you can smack a pickle-eating beaver. See you next time, and thanks for thunking! <laughs>